Uh, both those schools, along with Louisville, will be ready to make that jump. And uh, I would imagine you'd have to ask those coaches, Coach Schaefer and uh, Coach Chris. But I would imagine that it helps. It helps them from a recruiting standpoint to be a part of uh, the ACC, our bowl alliances, uh, the number of households that will hit every day, and, and obviously what we're trying to do with the conference. Your reaction to being picked first? <laughs> I think you know me well enough to know, that, Mike. I don't have, really have much of a reaction other than I hope they're not as uh, inaccurate as they were a year ago. <laughs> the picture's fifth, so. Uh, I just, uh, I just think for, from our standpoint, uh, you know, I hope that the adversity that, that we encountered and, and obviously endured the last two years with the NCAA has prepared us for this, and that we're not really thinking ahead, we're not really worried about all that, that we're internally focused and driven, and we're not worried about what anybody says about us, good or bad. I hope that. I hope that's the kind of thing we have. Stephen said it was important to kind of get back to that level where they used to be back when you remember being a kid watching the Hurricanes winning championships. How important is that kind of that culture to get back? Well, I think it's really important. I think we got a taste of it last year. You know, we were in the in the fight even though we were really young. Uh, and uh, so I think we grew up a lot. We matured a lot. We have a lot more experience coming back. Uh, you know, we only lost two senior starters off that team a year ago. And uh, you know, so I think the guys are. Uh, I think the guys are, are charged. They're excited, but uh, I don't want to get to the point where we start worried about who's picking what. You know, that's not our job. And uh, to Stevens' point, yeah, that's the standard at the University of Miami. That's why I went there, and that's why you know we want kids to go there, and that's why all those kids went there. They, they want to be great. You said uh, Ray Willis is around, working with his son in practice. Is he around much? I haven't seen Ray now. He he may he may you know come in and out you know but but they all do you know Jonathan Goma comes in and out works with the kids Jimmy Graham Santana Moss Reggie Wayne has you know been working with the Whiteouts the last couple of weeks when he's been around with Andrew Luck and some of those guys so um, you know it's it's the greatest brotherhood in college football uh, and I'm not gonna uh, ask those guys not to help us uh, impart to these guys what it means to be a Miami Hurricane. And, uh, having, you know, Ray Ray on our team is great. Uh, again, Ray's always welcome, but I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. Get a GA spot for him, maybe? If they, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, uh, Ray's overqualified to be a GA, and uh, the irony of uh, the NCAA rules prohibit anybody with uh, that capacity of being a GA. We have seven years, so. <laughs> You can go to the Hall of Fame before you can be a GA, I guess. Now, you talk, 